Hello, people. Another beautiful day. Yeah. Hope your five senses work, health and strength is good. What? And to you Steam Deck fans, Steam Deck Tribe, Steam Deck Nation, Steam Deck Universe, Steam Deck World, Steam Deck Legion, Steam Deck Squad, and the Steam Deck Mob. What's up with it? Now, listen to this. Steam Deck, Steam gets support for Nintendo, Nintendo, no, Steam gets support for online classic, no, Steam gets support for Nintendo online classic controllers. <laughs> listen to this. It says here, Valve recently released an update for the main Steam client, which amongst other things brings support to Steam input for the Nintendo Online Classic Controller. These are special controller special controllers Nintendo offer for playing their classic games on Nintendo Switch. Although Steam have support for them, make sure they have a whole lot more life. The support includes the NES the SNES, the Nintendo 64, the Sega Mega Drive, and Genesis controller. Not only that, Steam also support the Quamba, Obsidian, and Dragon Arcade joysticks, the Hori Fighting Stick Mini 4, and it has improved rumble emulation and DualSense wireless controller with updates firmware. It says here, a bunch of other fixes can, no, a bunch of other fixes came in two like the steam overlay not working with vulcan 1.3 applications a steam cloud issue where an app launch would stall if there are sync conflicts but cloud sync is disabled for the game or amount a fix for resource usage or chat and web browser and steam overlay when hidden a fix for micro stutter in some situations where Steamworks API calls could be briefly blocked by Steam client log file. A fix for crashes with Vulcan games using the VK uh, EXT graphics pipeline library extension and more. And it says here, uh, specific to Linux, these fixes were also released. Fix resource usage of chat browser when Steam client is minimized slash closed. Fix Steam overlay. Force quit not working for some native native Linux games. Fix some games being unable to create desktop shortcuts. And fix Steam client triggering split lock warning. And that's the end of the article. So uh, Valve has been busy, you know. Um, updating the Steam Deck and now you can use some Nintendo um, online classic controllers on, on Steam so Valve you know the entire staff at Valve they're just busy working on the Steam of course working on the Steam Deck working on cloud gaming making sure their operating systems and all that is up to up to up to par so they can play up uh, so they so they can browse the internet play their games and do um, cloud gaming, etc., etc. So, Steam, the Steam, <laughs> Steam is good, man. So, yeah, I mean, we're we're in, we're in um we are in uh, August right now, the second. Today's the second of August, and there's more more updates to come. So, I will keep you guys posted on what's going on with Steam, the Steam Deck, etc., etc. Anyway, leave this video for y'all to enjoy. Nice talking to you people again. Chris, still a Star Wars and Star Trek thing. Dwarf, dark side. Come on.